Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Optimus P517 coming back at you with a overdue shoe review and pickup. So, a lot of you guys know that my grandma went to the hospital at the end of April and um, she had surgery and everything's fine now. Thank goodness. Um, she's back at home. My mom's taking care of her. The family is taking care of her, making sure she's good. Um, she's going to have to be in checkups and whatnot throughout the year. I'm going to do a little bit of update on that on a different video and just kind of an FYI. But uh, the main thing is these. So literally the weekend before all that happened, these came out. So the Playoff 12s, um, I th if I remember April 21st, if that is the correct date off the top of my head. But... There they are, Playoff 12s, Retro, this is the third time, you got the OG, the 2004, and then now the 2012. Um, the main thing, I'm, I'm very happy, very, very happy with the shoe itself. Can't complain about it, it's a shoe that hasn't been released in a long time, and quality. If you've never owned a pair of the Retros or the OG, you can't complain about the qualities. Other than the fact, if you land across a few pairs, um, one thing I do want to say was my cousin also picked up a couple pairs and there was excess glue, there was excess material, um, you know, things weren't cut clean, there were threads sticking out and so forth. It, it just didn't go through quality control well. Uh, on one of my pairs, actually I think one of his pairs, the inside right here, it had pretty nasty wrinkles to it. Like, it was just wrinkled. So, uh, one other pair, wasn't mine, actually his, unfortunately, was right on the toe box. Um, it had a little bit of indentation, so it was kind of a rectang re re rectangular, um, Lego size indentation. I think the best way for me to explain it is, um, if you guys watched Rick James, Dave Chappelle, if you remember the scene where Charlie Murphy said, you know, um, Rick James pretty much, when he went into the club, he just took his hand and, and just freaking knocked him in the face, right smack in the middle of the forehead, and I think he had the peace sign, or, or the word peace written on his forehead. So, I think that's the, the, the best way for me to explain it was the indentation was that bad. It, it looks like it was imprinted in there, and it was, it was a shape of rectangle. Um, if you guys don't know Rick James, go YouTube it. Go YouTube Rick James. Uh, Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle first, and then Rick James. And then you'll understand what I'm talking about. It's, it's a very funny clip, so check it out. But, all with the shoe. Um, honestly, 12s are not my most f favorite shoe of all, of all, but when the playoff colorways came out, these were it. Um, the taxis are alright, the black and reds are alright, I'm not getting the obsidians. Um, it, it really had to depend on the color, I guess, but the, the playoffs were my favorite color. So, that's the main thing I want to go off with first. Um, there are several differences on, on the shoes. Some of you guys have seen tons of reviews, so I won't go over too much details, but I do have a pair of the 2004s as a comparison. But the main thing with a little bit of history with me is when I had the OG pairs, um, they're nice, there's a lot of cushion. They're very comfortable. They're labeled the tank um, because these things are durable. These things last forever. So, but they are also heavy. Uh, that that was one thing I didn't like about them. So, other than that, it's a very nice shoe. Um, the most significant difference from this retro to the previous ones was basically the most I the thing that popped out is for me was the eyelets. So the other ones are metal. They have a brushed aluminum look to it. These ones are flashy and I believe they're plastic. So, what can you do? Jordan, Jordan brand cutting costs, so can't nothing you can do about them. Um, but, other than that, these, these are very nice. Like I said, if you've never owned a pair of the Retros, honestly, there's not much for you to complain about because these, these look great. If I've never owned a pair, uh, I would say wow. So that's just my honest answer to it. Um, I slipped them on, they're, they're very comfortable. 
but let me go ahead and do a side-by-side -side review of the 04 and the 2012 just so you can see the subtle differences and whatnot. I know you guys seen a few videos out there already, but I still want to make one just in case you guys look through mine. So, um, other than that, hang tight and stay tuned. All right, so here is a side by side from the 2004 and the 2012 retro. So, the main thing, like I mentioned, that first popped out is the eyelet right there. Got the glossy plastic painted over. And then the 04, I believe the easiest way to explain it is kind of a matte silver brushed aluminum type of deal. Um, the leather is not as shiny, of course, but these are pretty good actually compared to the Retro 3 cements. So shininess doesn't matter. Um, you can definitely tell from the scale design right here, it's definitely more pronounced. On the 04 compared to 2012, you can still see it here and there. Some of the pairs actually don't have it, so not that they don't have it, but you can barely see them. It's very smooth, but from here, you can th definitely tell the difference. Um, of course, the material side by side, you can kind of tell the 2012. 2004, of course, it's a little bit thicker, just a little bit thicker than the leather on here. Um, toe box, main difference. You got a black jump man, got a red one right here, and then the back. You guys seen a lot of the videos. 2012 actually has red lettering, 2004 has white lettering. Jumpman's pretty much the same on there. Inside. And eh, not too different. The only other major thing that I notice that you can see is the kind of that tab right there. Right along here. This one's definitely a, a dull plastic. Just a cheap plastic that, that's on there. This one's more of a uh, shininess to it uh, so it does yellow this probably won't yellow as, as fast or as easy and last but not least carbon fiber underneath you got hits of black and gray whereas the 04 is pretty much all black so there it is uh, cushioning Turn the light on for you. You can tell the difference already right there for cushioning. So I don't really need to explain. But that's the side by side comparison. Let me go throw these on feet so you can see what they look like. Alright, gang, here they are on feet. I've got a pair of camel shorts up going on. And I've read a few of you guys' comments before. Yes, I do have pretty big uh, caps. They used to be not this big, but the weight gain kind of put on to it. So um, they definitely look better with jeans for me. Um, so keep that in mind. But I just want to show it to you what they look like on feet. And there they are. So comfort-wise, they're all right. No, can't complain with it. Um, But here's the deal, this is one of many videos that I'm going to be doing because I do have a lot of pickups that I haven't done any videos for since April and just keep it in mind so make sure to rate, comment and subscribe, any questions hit me up let me know, I'm going to try and get back to you as soon as I can on them and then make sure to thumbs up on the video, um, probably later this summer I'm going to do a summer giveaway so just hang tight. I'm going to try and throw out another video later this week. I, I have over 10 pairs of shoes i got to do videos for. So I didn't stop copping when things got bad. I just didn't have time to do videos. So other than that, there they are. If you got any questions, let me know. And again, thank you. Peace out.